Yo, welcome back here, guys. We've got today our exploration of Iceberg by Shamir Salim. And uh, it should be noted right here at the start, if it's not obvious, if you haven't seen the trailer or anything like that, I am the guy that produced this. So if you're watching this and that's going to affect your opinion, you can feel free to leave now and check out another video. Check out, just check out another video on the channel, something that might interest you. Say like, you know, this one right here about, um, you know, uh, Pocket Roulette. Whatever you want. But if it doesn't affect your opinion that I'm the guy that filmed, produced, and edited this whole project on the video side, and that I'm still giving you my unbiased opinion, I haven't paid for it, I'm not going to lie, Shamir supplied me everything, even the pro features that none of you even know about yet. Then please press on. But if it's something that is going to make you think that maybe there's a bias here, or my opinion isn't as, quite as qualified, feel free to move on along. That being said, we're going to dive into this app, and by the end of this, we're going to have a complete walkthrough of this so that you know whether or not this is for you or not, and if you do own it, maybe you discover something you didn't really know before, because I've kind of learned a lot of it through this. That being said, let's go ahead and roll that intro. Stack decks, boys and girls. Gosh darn do those stack decks get ya. Um, and this is a big part of ACAN. Now, of, sorry, a big part of Iceberg. So if you don't know what Iceberg means or translates to, it's Ice Cold ACAN by Mitchell Kettlewell, as well as Burglass Effect by David Burglass. Hence, Iceberg. Cool, right? Now, I know there's been a few different of uh, these kind of apps for ACAN out there and apps for card tricks. And this one, what makes this one stand out? What makes this one so darn cool? Well, I would say it's the inputs above anything else in the method itself. It's super clean, super usable. There's something here for everyone at all skill levels, which I think is really cool. And uh, it, there's really a way to grow with this too. As well as if you're someone like me that, you know, you're just getting into stack deck work, your memory's not quite as... Uh, on par maybe as you'd like to as, as, as you know others tell you you can be um which i'm struggling with keeping the redford stack in my head which is that is when i've got my deck in here is redford stack then this app's going to be for you it's going to help you be able to learn that stack as well but you don't need to know it to start taking out and performing it cool right like you can't beat that so that being said let's go ahead here i'm going to show you essentially uh what the app looks like Let's boot it up, and we'll have my little phone here up here on uh, what I guess would be your right. So, Iceberg's a cool app. Very simple. You can see we have the different ACAN types, the half and half, which is what I referred to before is the Ice Cold ACAN methodology. And then you have a cut method, too. So this is, if you're familiar with the work of Aussie Wind, this is a method you can take that kind of intro method from him and apply it to this, and it works really well and takes all the math out of doing either of these methods, which I think is great. All the math memorization is now gone on a device that you always have on you, probably more than you even have your deck of cards, which I think is great. So let's go and use half and half for now. Uh, Stack-wise, we've got Mnemonica, Cy Stebbins, Redford, Aronson, New Deck Order, the Breakthrough Card System, which I think is really cool, the Australian system, and the DRT stack in here, as well as with the pro modes you can buy, you can put your own stack in here as well. So say you've got another stack in your head, or maybe you're an eight kings guy, or whatever the heck that's called. Uh, for I don't know what the or I don't know what the stack's called. It's the one that's supposed to be easy to memorize, but I never memorized it. You can put that in here as well. Um, there's tons of features from the launch screen, changing fonts, camera input. So I mean, you can change everything. So if you want to swipe input, you can do that. If you know clock swipes, you can clock. You can do this so that you can record a selfie. So your phone's out here being held out here with the camera going, and you just clock swipe in what it is that they're saying, and then it gives you the same thing, and you can still get your peak subtly. It's so cool. It's so cool. Or it can go to your watch. It goes to your watch. It's a dedicated Iceberg watch app in here as well, which I think is really neat. Um, so there's a lot going on with this. But let's not get into the boring stuff in the settings. Let's try and get right to the effects and everything, right? So I'm going to start here at the notes function. This is the one that we I saw Shamir do the most of when we were when he was here filming this. And what he did on me the first time I saw it. So basically what it looks like, it's a perfect looking notes screen. 
And if I type in here 7 H, 7 of hearts, right, I'm going to get a buzz on my watch. So right now it's showing me the 7 of hearts. It's hard to catch the glare. Let's see if I can take this off and catch that easier. Yep, 7 of hearts. No, that's not much easier. Between 19 and 45, right? So what I'm going to need to do now is go ahead and put in, say, let's do 20, right? 20 goes in. It vibrates twice to tell me, and it's telling me right now that I need to basically what exactly I need to do. So I know now to do, oops, let me see my cheat sheet. I know now to do, you know, that, and then, oh, yeah, sorry, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, <sighs> twenty, and seven hearts. How cool is that? It's a math free handling of this. Like, that's so cool. Now, the other cool thing is this can also, so I went to my watch in this case, it can also audio peak right into a set of uh, AirPods or other covert listening device. So if we ever see Mark Lemon's Ghost in the Machine, um, it could be used to go straight to that, which I think will be really cool. So very neat on that. Notes app, that, that's as simple as explanation as it is. Uh, camera input, this is my favorite one. When I saw this, this super got me excited. There's another version of this too that works with the PETA watch called Time Capture. Same camera input, but it allows you to input the time on your PETA watch, which I think is super cool. And you can also do this clock swipes and everything, or the SB watch, whatever you have and prefer. But let's go and look at that real quick. So pardon if you see my messy desk, but what you can see here is we have a camera screen open that looks dead on real. And uh, let's say you had say you film somebody, say, hey, I'm gonna have you, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and film this, is that okay? So you show them that, go to video, boom, there you go. When you double tap cinematic, you say, now listen, I'm going to have you name a card for me. What card would you name? Uh, three of hearts. Okay, three of hearts. And if you were to give me, say, a, a, a nice, a decent number, what would it be? Um, 13. Okay, cool, 13. And would you be the type to add one, two, three, or what number, or how much to that? Or you can defer to somebody else and say, good, give me a small number. Whatever you want to get them over the hump. It doesn't matter if they don't name this range you're seeing here between 14 and 40. You can always push them, which we cover that in the video. I give some ideas on that too. But let's say that they did say, uh, you know, 14, right? In this case, what it would be would be I literally just have to go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, let's say I've handed this over and I don't want this to obviously pop up. I can now hand them this. Uh, what was it? 13. Oh, shoot. I lost count. I lost count. So this would have been, a, this would have been bad for me. Yep, there we go. I can just cheat sheet it back. Uh, luckily, this is a Mark deck, too. I lost, I lost count, guys. I'm so sorry. But you get the gist here, right? Basically, they can now count down. And I don't know how many I've got here. Shoot. One, two. Oh, somehow the stacks got messed up, too. That's what's going on here. Okay, so ignore me. But then let's say you record this, right? You hit stop. It's going to save right to your camera roll, and it looks perfectly fine in your recents, which is pretty neato. Um, obviously, when you just click out here, it vanishes. You can hand them the phone. You can also do clock swipe inputs on here, which it will show you the clock swipe inputs, which I don't have set up right now. But there you go. Two fingers swipe back down. This is where it gets interesting when you get into the fake home screen uh, setup, basically. So let me go ahead and reset this really fast because I thought for, I, I, I had a card moved over, and because of that, I got the wrong side. So I looked like a d -d -d dummy there, which I'm very good at doing, guys. Very good at looking like a dummy. But as you can see what I'm saying that, it's tracking on here because this opens always with the best. What I like is it kind of is like a, it's kind of like an anagram, right? It starts with trying to give you the best options. So let's say that we were in a conversation. You can see it starting it's on training mode, recording what I've got up here on the screen. 
But let's say you named um, three of hearts. Perfect. Oh, I have to remember. So there are phrases. I know what I did. I know what I did here. So let's go back. So let's say we're talking, and um, I say, hey, I just want you to name a card here in a moment. You can name any card. Um, the Four of Hearts? Interesting. Now it's telling me right now, Four of Hearts. You can see my range between 4 and 30th there. And I say, okay, so what would a good number be then? Uh, 14? Good choice. There you go. Via voice, I've now got my exact what I need to do. My watch is telling me what to do. I'm covered, right? And this is the best case scenario. And then you can move into, say, anyone you want. Now, I don't have my icons lined up correctly for this, so I have to memorize, I have to re memorize this because I've added a few things. But if we click right here, that's going to bring you into the camera function. If we click right here, it's going to bring you notes. Right here is going to be your manual input, so you can just literally input it right on this screen like we were kind of doing earlier. If you click this, it's going to take you to the Google browser, right, which is pretty cool. So let me restart here just so I can show you kind of what that looks like in action. So, you know, um, name a card, six of diamonds. Interesting that clocked and now since I've got that I can just go into here it opens up this fake Google page it looks really realistic uh, click random number generator 52 generate oh I put 51 and 52 good and then generate 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 and what's going to do is it's going to start generating different numbers that will basically work with that card, right? And then because I haven't used this one very much, it normally shows down here, it says random number generator. Um, it shows basically what it is that you're supposed to do. But in this case, I haven't put it to work into this, so I don't really know what this is. I have to go over the instructions again. But there's so many inputs you can do. There's always new stuff being added in if it isn't obvious so much cool new stuff it's wild how much this app is you know advanced in the short time it's actually been available so all that being said if you're somebody that's looking for a really truly hands off version of the burglass effect of an ACAN something that's going to help you get your mem deck knowledge in order and you know, just all around improve and allow you just to deal a big black eye to your uh, participants' brains, then Iceberg is definitely something you should look into. It's super affordable, 50 bucks. And if you know Shamir, he upgrades and keeps his apps constantly. So you know for a fact that your investment is going to something that's going to basically get better over time as opposed to worse. So all that being said, Thank you all for, for tuning in. If you want Iceberg for 10% off, go ahead and use the link below here. That's going to give you 10% off once again. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next one. And just like most of my videos here, I want to try and keep my endings very abrupt.